Just if you have any reaction to the Washington Post report that uh, Israel used white phosphorus on uh, civilians in southern Lebanon. We are concerned by the reports uh, of the use of white phosphorus. Obviously, there is a legitimate military use for white phosphorus, but that does not include um, using them on civilians. It means that if you use them, you have to do everything you can to minimize civilian harm. Um, Any time that we provide items like white phosphorus or really anything to another military, we do it with the expectation that it will be used uh, for legitimate purposes and in full keeping with uh, international humanitarian law and the ar- law of armed conflict. So we're looking into this and, and looking for additional information. We think there are more things that Israel can do to minimize civilian harm. The Secretary talked about some of those week- this weekend. We think there needs to be more predictability in the South for when humanitarian pauses can take, take place. Uh, we need, there needs to be more predict- predictability in terms of the corridors that humanitarian that that civilians could use to get themselves out of harm's way and in designated time periods when those are protected. There needs to be more predictability in those same corridors so aid can come in. And with respect to the use of the weapons we provide, and with respect to the use of weapons that we don't provide but that Israel uses on its own, we have been clear in all of our conversations with them that they need to comply with international humanitarian law and the laws of war, we have been quite clear with that at the highest possible levels of this government and, that, and will continue to do so.